Welcome back, this is Yamajack. Today we got Gunslinger Kikiri Forest Suicidal. How about them apples? How about them apples? So, daily Terraria update is nothing's happening. Honestly, in Terraria right now, it's just a lot of the same kind of stuff. Going around, kind of cleaning stuff up a little bit, and farming up a couple of items to just put in storage for collections, or uh, kind of tidying up wiring here and there and stuff. I'll probably do like a. Uh, a world tour eventually when I'm at uh, a bit of a better position than I am right now, so have have a little bit more to show for it. I think it'll be an interesting world to show off anyway. But uh, that's not today. So I don't really have anything to talk about in Ferrari. It's weird because that's kind of been my thing for the past few days now. Is is starting the first episode of the day with with talking about what I've done in Ferrari in the last little bit. But I don't get to do that today. So instead, we're going to talk about something else, which is I guess more classic Killing for Two content for my channel really but it's it's weird lately anyway anyway um, today I have a song stuck in my head I have a song stuck in my head it goes a little bit something like uh, que sera sera whatever will be will be it's a wonderful song que sera I, I listen to it every now and then and, and it gets stuck in my head. it's a very catchy tune you know I would uh, I would sing it, but I'm I'm worried about copyright strikes if I uh, if I do. Not that I think I uh, would be able to mimic it to the point where it would be recognizable necessarily, but I think that the YouTube algorithm is is better than I give it credit for as well. It says you can do this, and I know from experience that you can, but it's a really stupid jump, isn't it? It's like stuck in my head, dude. Whatever will be, will be, que sera, sera. It's a lovely song. Love it. But, uh, it's short, so I, I just keep looping it. Anyway, that's what's stuck in my head. And in uh, perhaps more exciting news, and perhaps more exciting news, I've, uh, do they call you repeat things all the time? It's a weird habit of mine. I've talked about it before. Repeating myself as I talk about it, but I uh, I repeat myself and it happens kind of naturally as I'm recording. I don't do it in. My in the Discord, somebody just said, "Y'all boil water and then refrigerate it for later," and that's really funny to me. Not because the joke itself is funny, but because my sister has also made that same joke. I was boiling water one day, and she's like, why do you boil water every single time? Why don't you just boil it and then just freeze it for later? And she's obviously, you know, joking, but as is, you know, this person, but I just think it's very funny because it's, uh, it's like an inside joke between my sister and me, and then he's also making the same joke, so I'm definitely going to be showing that to my sister later. Um, she'll probably get a kick out of that. Anyway, so in more exciting news, I repeat myself. Is, is the moral of the story. I don't know why I do it. It's a strange thing. I don't know why I do it, but it's a strange thing. That was intentional. Um, but it just kind of happens naturally. In my normal talking, I don't really do it. I don't, uh, you know, say something and then immediately say it again. Because oftentimes what I'll do is I'll be like, Mark, I'll be like, uh, anyway, more exciting news. And uh, in more exciting news, we've got, you know, whatever. And, uh,. I don't know why I do it. I don't know why I do it. Anyway, more exciting news. And uh, more exciting news. <laughs> also intentional. We've got uh, the first bits of the first episode of Serenity SMP recorded for the new channel. So that's coming along. The server is up. It is running. People are playing on it. Things are being built and created. Not much. It's been running for like 7.30. So it's running about four hours and... We played for about two hours yesterday exploring, mostly looking for a village. Uh, it was just the two of us. Nobody else was able to make it to the server grand opening. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping we'd have more people for the initial kind of like thing, but it's fine. We will have more people joining in the future with... Uh... Get me up there. We'll have more people joining in the future with... Um... Like other other collaborations and stuff, maybe work on projects together or play games or you know any any of that kind of stuff. You know, just some simple collaboration uh, kind of stuff, right? Very very simple stuff. Um, 
So we'll be able to introduce the other members over time. And it'll be it'll be good fun. Hopefully eventually we have enough people on there that we can kind of create our own clicks and have that kind of uh, thing. Because I know that, you know, you, you think of clicks in like a high school kind of scenario, right? With these these cliques, you know? And uh, it's not good, but, but in the real world, it kind of is. Right? Like, when, when everybody's, when everybody likes each other, but you have, like, you know, some people who just kind of get along a little bit better. It's not like the people who aren't in those cliques don't get along. It's just, uh, you got, you got the groups of people who, who get along particularly well, and then you got the groups of people who just don't really do an awful lot of collaborative content, because, you know, schedules don't necessarily line up, or the type of content that they produce doesn't necessarily work out, or whatever. And uh, you just you end up having a better time with the people, and that's what I'm kind of looking forward to. Because right now it's we only have four or five members on the server. It's not like we want to rush to add a whole bunch of people and then end up with a whole bunch of people who aren't necessarily great fits for the server either. But um, you know, we, have, having more people just so that we can get those groups of, of people who, who are able to work together fairly fluidly and make that consistent collaborative content is just good for the server as a whole. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's me! I'm the Mysterious Marksman. Uh, so yeah, we got that recorded. First bit of it, I got... We played for about two hours, yes, or earlier today. I recorded about two hours of footage. Probably seven, maybe eight minutes of actual content goes into the episode. Big yikes. Um, but the, the remaining content isn't going to take two hours. Like, there's, there's another 10 to maybe 13 minutes of content I want to make for the video. And that's probably going to take me another 30 to 40 minutes. So it's uh, probably a tomorrow project that I finish that episode up, get it uploaded, and... Yeah, maybe, maybe tomorrow or Monday? We end up having uh, all of the new content coming up on the... Uh, on the old YouTube channel there, which will be really, really cool. On the new channel. The first video of the single player Let's Play will be going up on this channel as well. I will be uploading um, the first episode of the single player Let's Play to both channels uh, so that you guys can see the video, watch it, decide, hey, I want more of this, and then uh, go subscribe to the new channel where you'll be able to see more of it. Um, just because I know that I have an audience here who is interested in Minecraft content, so I want to be able to kind of take advantage of that as best I can, but I also can't really make the content on this channel exclusively because that's going to end up causing some problems with um, monetization in the future. Um, so... But, uh... Yeah, it's, you know, come along. Stuff is happening. It's, uh... Yeah, it, it feels good to, to have stuff finally happening. We've got a bit of a dirt shack in the server now. And we have a logo for the server as well, so that'll be showing up in the thumbnails. Um, yeah, just, just a lot of cool stuff going on, which is cool and stuff. People are people are taking the uh, y'all boil water and refrigerate it for later seriously. It's like, why would you boil water? You live in a city. Refrigerate for later, or was that a joke? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Uh, also today I got uh, so yeah I got I got some I got some underwear. Okay, I ordered some underwear on Amazon. I don't necessarily like ordering clothes on. Uh, Amazon just because it sucks for clothes. Um, really, really super sucks. But uh, you, you're done. You're done here, right? Yeah, Amazon is just like it's overpriced. You have to wait for like delivery. You can't try it on before you get it. Like it's just uh it's just bad all around, right? Like, you don't want to buy clothes on Amazon, really. Unless you are buying something, like, for instance, underwear, where the size doesn't really matter. 
too much, you know? Like, if I'm buying a shirt or something like that, I want to make sure it fits and, like, looks nice. If I'm buying underwear, I'm just like, yeah, I like, you know, I just need something so that I'm not, you know, naked, basically. Um, I thought he, like, glitched through the floor there for a moment. I'm like, where the heck is he? Um, anyway, yesterday my, uh, my first delivery came. It got split up into two packages. So yesterday the underwear came, and yesterday's underwear was not so great. It was not really the size that they necessarily said it would be. So it wasn't like super comfy or anything, and uh, they just didn't really look that good. And it was just all around just kind of a bad experience. So I was kind of disappointed, and I'm like, ah, crud. Like that's a you know bit of a waste of money, but not really the worst. What the heck? What the heck? Not really the worst thing in the world, you know? But like, you know, kind of disappointing and had that kind of, not buyer's remorse, but like, well, shoot, you know? Um, and then today the uh, the next package came with, uh, with other underwear. And today, the underwear that I got were these uh, like weird sort of super stretchy fabricy boy shorts and they're like the most comfortable underwear I've ever worn and it was uh, it was a roller coaster of, uh, of emotions with package deliveries as, uh, as yesterday the, uh, the underwear comes and I'm like oh it's not very good and then today it comes and I'm like yeah no I would have paid like all of the money for just these because they're amazing um, <laughs> they're really just like so comfy so I'm, I'm definitely buying more of them it's hard to find uh, comfortable underwear as a uh, as an overweight trans woman because uh, well you have the the overweight part which definitely contributes to to having some issues with with just kind of the um, the sizing and, and stuff kind of gets messed up sometimes when you're fat you know um, and then the whole trans woman thing. We're not gonna get into it too much there, but women's underwear is is a little bit hit or miss, we'll say, just because of some particular hardware. That, uh, anyways, it's just it's a it's a tricky thing to find, and this is definitely like perfect. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm picking more of it up. It was uh, it was a roller coaster of emotions as I was super disappointed yesterday, and it's it's just like ecstatic today as I try it on and it's like the most comfortable stuff I've ever worn so it's 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 wonderful it's wonderful so it's just a, really it's just a great day you know new underwear we got uh, we got new uh, server new minecraft server nothing to really show for it but a lot of work being done on Terraria which is making me feel good but I don't have anything to show for it so but, uh, you know, it's just, it's a good day. It's one of those days where you just have, feel like you're having a good day. And that means that something's going to go wrong, right? Like something, something's going to, I'm going to go back to Terraria after this. I'm going to find that my world's been deleted. I have backups, but all of the backups will be deleted too. I actually don't have a very recent backup. I should take another one. Probably just jinxed myself, but. <laughs> I think my last backup is a few days old, so. The issue is uh, I use the cloud save on Terraria, so all of my, my well, my world, the one world that I actually use, uh, is on the cloud, and um, get out of here, dude. It's on the cloud, and I can't, it's not, it's not stored locally at all, like a copy of it isn't stored locally, which I would love if it were, but it isn't, so I have to, whenever I want to back it up, I have to like move it off the cloud, back it up, and then move it back onto the cloud. Um, I guess I could just not put it on the cloud in the first place. But, uh, I don't know. I kind of kind of like having it on the cloud just so that if I ever want to reinstall my compu like uh, operating system or move over to Linux or, or whatever, then I'm able to just do that and it's still there, you know? Like, having stuff on the cloud is just uh, really quite convenient, so. Um, it's what I, I like to do. But I don't have any plans of doing that, so I guess it doesn't matter. Eh, yeah, whatever. 
Doesn't it? It's, it's whatever. I, I, it's just annoying to back it up. Is really what it boils down to. You see that dodge? I saw those beams. I saw them coming, and I weaved. I weaved. Hey, I get to. I get some kind of you know award for that for sure. Okay, that was an amazing dodge. You can't take that away from me. I I weaved through those lasers like like. Neo from the Matrix, okay? I felt good. <laughs> felt good, dude. Felt good. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta go, uh... I need, I need, I need a lot of new clothes. Because the thing is, is all of my clothes disappears. Okay? It all disappears, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's my mother that's just taking it. Ends up, you know... And it's not like I can necessarily blame her for it all, because like I, I have a shower or whatever and I leave my clothes on the bathroom floor in a pile of dirty clothes or whatever, right? Then it ends up in the sort of like general laundry and then I don't have it anymore and somebody else gets it. And, you know, and I, need, I need to make sure that I take all my clothes down with me, I just oftentimes forget. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what's ending up happening with a lot of it, but I end up losing like socks and... Pretty much anything, I end up uh, losing to uh, shirts, pants, pajamas. Just it ends up who knows where, you know. It's not like I see other people wearing my my stuff either. They they just end up having it, and then they're like, oh, I don't really like this because we have different you know fashion and crap, and mostly it's just I don't have a lot of clothes because it's expensive and. Fairly recently, well, I don't know, not super recently, but sort of recently, I've had to make like a huge wardrobe change, so. Um, slowly transitioning over. Anyway, I need new clothes, because uh, it all disappears. I need new shirts and new pants. Underwear's kind of the important one. I got jeans, I got a couple, I got a few pairs of jeans. So, you know, I can wear those in any time of the year with pretty much any of, but I got some leggings as well. A few pairs of leggings, got a pair of shorts. Um, but I don't have. Uh, you're over here. But I don't have. I don't have any shirts. I don't have many shirts. I used to like going to the thrift store uh, fairly frequently, just because you know you get to go to the thrift store and, and there's nice clothes there. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes. You know, you go and, and somebody's dropped off, because a lot of people are rich, and they'll wear their clothes like, you know, two, three, four times, whatever, and then they'll dump off this huge package of really nice clothes at the thrift store, and it's up for like, you know, five dollars for a super cute shirt or something, and it's like, well, yeah, I'm taking that. <laughs> it's mine now. Um, but uh, a lot of it is just garbage, and it's got stains, and, you know, whatever, so it's not like like always gold there but oftentimes you end up uh, at the thrift store and it's like yeah it, it is it's just like you know fashion gold right there and you get the change rooms and then you get to just kind of like put on a little uh, you know fashion show for yourself or for your friends if you're you know gonna bring your phone and take some pictures or bring your friend into the change room if uh, you have friends <laughs> that live near you. Wouldn't necessarily want to do that if you're, you know, trying on underwear or something like that. But for me personally, I just uh, I wouldn't want to buy underwear from a thrift store personally. Anyway, that that's a that's a step in a, in a wrong grip. Maybe bras, I guess. Maybe, but even then, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And underwear at a thrift store just feels a little bit. They sell it. It's there, but. Uh, no, thank you. You know, I I'll pass. I'll pass. Um. But anyway, yeah, you get to go there. You get to try on a bunch of clothes and. Take a bunch of pictures and show your, you know, cute dresses and stuff. Oftentimes you end up going and it's not really anything super nice there, but 
I mean, sometimes you end up going and it's it's, it's a gold mine. So, but I can't really do that anymore because COVID. You know, I don't really want. I mean, I think they're open, but going to a thrift store to to buy some clothes and like try it on and like touch all the stuff and like ah, it doesn't really it doesn't really sound like such a great idea. I mean, trying on clothes in general just seems like a pretty bad idea right now. I know that the change rooms are open. Like I can go to Walmart or something, and, and Walmart in Canada actually has fairly acceptable clothes. I know that there's like a stigma about shopping, like buying clothes at Walmart, and uh, it's definitely cheaper clothes, even here. But like, it's actually it's fine. It's not a, a great place to shop for clothes. It doesn't have the greatest stuff, but like it's fine, you know. But uh, you know, if you go to Bootleg or, or whatever other Reitman's something, and uh, there, there'd be change rooms, and I could hop on in and see how everything's gonna go. But just uh, for me, it just trying on clothes that other people have tried on. You know, they don't have washing machines there. They're not washing all of the clothes. Okay, <laughs> like. It's not happening. So you're just you're just trying to clothes that other people have tried on, and it just it just feels gross to me. Maybe you have to leave it in like a thing, and then they end up like sanitizing it or something. Maybe they do have a washing machine. I don't know, but it just, it just it feels bad to me. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.